Well, hello, Northgate family, and welcome to our first blog of 2020. I hope that your 2020 is starting off great and you have at least one of your resolutions still intact. I know it's difficult to hang on to all of them, but you just gotta, you just gotta like pick one, right? Hang on to it. It's only been a week, so hopefully there's at least one left. With that said, we want to kick off 2020 at Northgate right. We want Northgate to be a place to provide help, hope, or a home for you this year as we strive to be the church in a new way. I want to tell you about three things real quick that are coming up here in January. First of all, we have a baptism service on January 26th. If you want to learn more about what baptism is or what it means to, to be baptized in water as an adult, come talk to any of us pastors. It's not about uh, completing your salvation or anything, but it's an act of obedience because Jesus told us, go and be baptized. So we obey and we declare our faith in God the Father. Secondly, we have our annual congregational meeting also on January 26th at five o'clock. Everyone is welcome to attend this potluck business meeting, but uh, and only our members will be able to vote on the issues at hand, but everyone is invited. It's gonna be a potluck, it's gonna be a celebration, and because we ended up with like 12 dishes of macaroni and cheese last year, we are gonna have a sign up. You can find out what is needed for this meal at ngcclife.com 2020. Lastly, we are having uh, Pastor Houston is putting together a Super Bowl party for February 2nd. So regardless of who's there or who your team is, we would love for you to participate in this awesome celebration and gathering of our church family. It's the fellowship of believers that uh, is this important aspect to what church is, even when it's not super spiritual. Before you go, I wanna to read to you from Ephesians chapter three which verse 20 says this now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us to him be the glory in the church and in jesus christ throughout all generations forever and ever amen did you know that the apostle paul prayed for you and that you as part of the church are, are declaring God's glory through your actions each and every day. What an amazing verse. I'm gonna look at it again. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we could ever ask or think, Jesus is so far beyond anything we could plan or imagine. And he's working each and every day in your lives. To him, to God be the glory in the church in Jesus Christ forever and ever in all generations. We get to carry on the church, this, this beautiful thing that God created as a privilege to us, as an opportunity to worship and glorify him, we get to carry on the good work of Jesus through our lives. You know, in John 14, Jesus also said to his disciples, you will do far more greater things than I have done. And that happens through each and every one of us representing Christ in our daily lives. The power of Jesus is multiplied when we live out our faith in a vibrant way wherever the Lord has led us. So this week, as we prepare for this weekend, may the light of Christ shine in your heart. Amen? I love y'all. We'll see you on Sunday.